quote. Hello guys, so um, I told you guys yesterday, today is the 4th, um, last night actually I asked you guys if you wanted me to vlog like my whole hydrafacial process because I told you guys I was getting my first one done today, which I am. So I'm doing just that. Um, we're first stopping to get gas because I always leave that till the very end. Um, and then we're going to stop at Best Buy so I can get myself like one of those stands so I don't have to hold you guys while I drive and it'll be safer. Um, so yeah, let's get some gas and we will meet at Best Buy. I don't even know if I'm like focused or like... I spent like... 25 minutes in there because nobody knew what a car mount was like well now I'm gonna be late because it's already 12 10 and my appointments at 12 30 and it's a 40 minute drive so clearly we're gonna be late so anyways guys I think you guys are shaking a lot I know that much I don't know if you guys can see me I don't know how this is gonna go I feel like you guys are shaking a little bit way too much like how does Best Buy not have car mounts for cameras or even like those, I was looking for like those silicone pads that you can put on your dashboard and the camera can just sit on it without slipping around everywhere. Like, how do you not have serious? And they're like, oh yeah, like, you know, America, Best Buy has like different stock than Canada, Best Buy. Like, okay, but like, why? I want to know why. Why does America always have better things than us? Today, I'm going to do my hydrafacial and then I'm um, going to come home and probably get my lifting session in. If you guys follow Jasmine Garcia, she's Jazzy Poo on Instagram with three O's. She says, she always says Jazzy Poo with three O's. Um, so she's Jazzy Poo on Instagram and then on YouTube, she's Jasmine Garcia Fitness. She's actually in Toronto, finally. She was here a few months ago, but I couldn't see her just because our schedules were both so packed and plus I had exams and stuff. So I wasn't able to meet her. But I am finally gonna meet her now, um, soon, sometime this week, and I'm super excited because honestly, like, she's probably one of the only people in my life that I actually want to meet because she just seems so cool. So I'm sure we're gonna become best friends, and if Jasmine, if you're watching this, we're probably best friends by now, so. Um, yeah, give her a follow on YouTube and on Instagram. <sighs> so I'm gonna see her, and um, that's about... Right. That's about it guys, I'm honestly just now stressing because I hate being late, like if someone's late to see me I get so angry and I just hate the fact that I'm going to be late because I don't like to waste people's time, like I want to have respect for everyone's time, it's just like, it really wasn't my fault, like I don't know, but it's fine, I'm just going to apologize to them, I might even see if I can call them and let them know I'm going to be a little late, but I'm trying to get there maybe in like 20 minutes. <laughs> Guys, okay, so my car, like, it has four modes. It has um, Eco, Comfort, Sport, and then Sport Plus. So, like, whenever I'm in a rush, I, like, I, I honestly never use the Sport Plus but because I like to use Eco. Like, I'm a mellow driver. I don't really care to rush and stuff like that. Um, but once in a while, like, if I put it into Sport Plus, oh, my God, this thing, like, takes off. Like, I'm in a rocket ship. I'm not even lying. Like, I won't have to accelerate. Like, I won't have to press the accelerator even more. But this shit just takes off, like, in Sports Plus. I have it in Eco for now because it's, we're in stuck in traffic. But, yeah, my brothers enjoy putting it in Sports Plus, obviously. And it freaks me out. Oh, my gosh. I feel it's like, boom, like that. Like, it's pretty crazy. It just I just never use it because it's scary like I can't drive like that I need to drive calm and like be able to like focus instead of like focusing on how fast I'm going you know yes yeah, I just called the um, the facial place I don't know if it's like a face I don't know what they're called I forgot like so basically basically it's like a salon okay honestly you guys are shaking so much I'm so sorry it's um it's a salon that does like you know like lip injections and like Botox I guess and stuff like that of course I'm not going for that but they do like the Hydra facial and um they also do this um I think it's called the vampire facial you guys remember if you see uh, keeping up with the Kim Kardashians keeping up with the Kim Kardashians I mean keeping up with the Kardashians but you know what I said works too. If you watch that show, um, you'll remember that one time Kim got this facial and it was like the vampire facial where they, she, they literally use your own blood to like, and they like pin it into your face or something like that, but they do that and that's freaky. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but I'm shit scared of needles. Like I, needles and me do not get along. I will cry 
Um, anytime I go get a blood test, I will faint. Like, the, like I faint. So, I don't like needles at all. I would never do that. But they offer things like that. Um, I'll leave, like, the information of the place and stuff, of course, down below in the dark sh in the description box. And um, once we get in there, uh, I already asked them if I can vlog and stuff. So, they said that's totally fine with them. So, I should be able to show you guys, you know, the inside of the salon. I don't know what it's called. I guess the place, inside of the place, and then like how they, the process and stuff like that. So it should be fun. I feel like um, this will be good because hydrofacials are like so popular. Out of nowhere, I feel like they're very popular. So I really want to see if it works and if it's worth the hype. My friend Manal just got it done, Wake Up and Makeup, when she was in LA, and she said that like it literally sucked all the pimples out of her face and um, she loved it. So. I really want to try it out and then let you guys know, you know, if it's worth the money and if it's worth the whatever you go through for it. So I want to see it. I'm going to let you guys know exactly how I feel about it just because, um, you know, of course, all these makeup artists and stuff like, you know, they have good skin, but they, you know, I don't know, like they get facials on a regular. For me, I don't get facials on a regular. I don't go to these kind of salon things often you know what i mean so i'm just like a regular girl like you guys i also don't do much to take care of my skin like i don't have like a scary a crazy skincare routine like if i wash my face i wash my face like sometimes if i use a toner i tone it otherwise i don't care to use it so i really feel like i can relate to you guys in that way because i don't really i mean i don't go out of my way to like you know take care of my skin so let's see if this actually works it's supposed to help with acne with wrinkles um, with hyperpigmentation which I need a lot of help with because even though I don't have that many pimples anymore I have a lot of dark spots all over my face and I just eh, I would like them to be gone so let's see when we get there it says we're gonna arrive at 1242 and it is currently 1224 20 minutes and we shall be there. I feel like like um, on YouTube, I don't do a great job of like, you know, updating you guys on my life, which I apologize for. I just, I get so consumed with like Instagram and of course I have Snapchat. So like I, I'm always updating you guys there on like, you know, big things, but I feel like on YouTube, I'm not like on a personal level with you guys, whereas like Instagram, if you were to go see on my Instagram, like I, I feel like I comment back and reply to you guys and have conversations with you guys all the time. So I'm going to make a conscien conscience, conscience, effort, conscience, Cosh conscience. I'm going to make a whatever effort to, um, you know, try to keep you guys updated because I know that my followers on Instagram will be different than my followers on YouTube and different than my followers on Snapchat. So um, if you guys didn't know, my um, my grandma passed away uh, about, it, I think it's been two weeks now, almost two weeks ago. So my mom actually flew back to Pakistan the same day that we found the news out. So I, t I updated you guys on Snap and I honestly love you guys so much for all the the, the kind words and you know the wishes that you guys sent my way like it felt amazing and I made sure to let my mom know like I told my mom that you guys were you know sending all this love so when she's back she's she'll thank you guys you know by herself and so many of you guys are telling me that you guys miss my mom on my snapchat and um, I agree I miss her too so she'll be back soon I hope so um, and then we can go back to our regular um, programming uh, but yeah, that's it. So nothing great has happened in my life. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, then you haven't really seen my, um, you know, my lifts recently. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm, I'm on a more of a powerlifting program now. Uh, my coach is Omar Isof. He makes YouTube videos. I'll link his channel down below. So I've been training with him and last week, Last week, we tested all of my one rep maxes. Um, so for my bench, I hit 131 pounds. You guys, I'll insert the footage here for you to see. <laughs> Nicely done. That's a good one. That's a good rep. That was 
131. No. Yeah. So for my bench, I hit 100, 131 pounds. For my deadlift, I did 255, <clears throat> 255 pounds. We want you to pull fast, aggressive. Wait till I say down. You got this. Go really aggressive on this, though. Fast. Come on. Tight. Let's go. Yep. Pull, 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 pull. Good. Hold. Hold. Down. I feel like, um, and Omar said this as well, that I could have gotten 260, but we just kept it at 255. Um, pounds and then for my squats my squats is what I'm struggling with most because my left hip is jacked up like it's really messed up I have so much pain when I squat it's not even funny so um, my squat is my squat one rep max is at 180 pounds and even then it was so painful Push, 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 you're almost there. Nice. So I am going to be able to, I'm going to be going and, you know, getting it checked out. So I just hope it gets fixed soon because anytime I have to squat, like, I dread it. Like, I do not want to squat. Like, I really don't like it because of the pain. Like, so, yeah, I just don't like it. But yeah, so those are my those are my three main lifts. We have another four week training um, block before testing my one rep maxes again, and of course I'll update you guys on that. And I did let you guys know on Snapchat that I'm going to be trying to incorporate more fitness into my YouTube because I don't, you know, and I, it's just hard for me because like I'm so used to you know Instagram, and of course I have like my fat loss home challenges and my gym challenges. So it's like, I just so hard for me to like figure out, okay, like what do I put on YouTube? So I'm definitely gonna try to incorporate more um, fitness. If not, like I can obviously just like do my daily workouts or like twice a week or something and just put that up there on, on video if you guys really wanna see like what, what days I do what kind of thing and just do that. So I will definitely do all of that for you guys. We are stuck in traffic. It is now 12.33 and we're supposed to get there in 10 minutes. But I think with this traffic, it's going to be a little, it's going to be another 20 minutes or so. So. Alright guys, we are in the heart of Toronto. And I'm not liking it because I hate driving down here because... Taxi drivers are crazy, and I just hate driving down here because it's just too crowded. And I hate the fact that I had to figure out where to park now, and we're still not there. We're probably like five minutes away. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know where I'm going to park. I don't even know what this place looks like, you know, when you don't know what building it's in. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's see what happens. <sighs> Guys, this is what we call our Times Square. Like, if you look at it, this is like Dundas and Young, so this would be like Toronto's Times Square. I guess it's all right. We have a, a university down this way. It's called Ryerson. I actually used to go there. But yeah, it's not bad. It's just always full of people. Holy shit, guys. I'm so freaking annoyed. It's now 1 o'clock. It took me literally 15 minutes to find parking because there's no goddamn parking in freaking Toronto. Like, are you freaking serious? Now I have to figure out where the hell I parked and I have to figure out how the hell to get to this salon thing that I need to get to. So, let's figure this stuff out, man. Hi, um, I'm just trying to find facial done um, I just filled out all the forms and stuff like that so I'm going to be laying here and let's see how it goes it's not supposed to hurt which is a good thing because the Alex herbal peel freaking hurts like crazy so let's see how it goes I've never done the hydrofacial and I've heard so many things about it so it's so amazing I'll let you know exactly what I'm doing as I get 
I knew you guys did yeah. a variety of things, but when I was getting the tour, it's like literally everything tanning and like everything. tanning, teeth whitening, eyelashes, microblading, yeah. the vampire. Skull, honestly, vampire facial. Does that one facial hurt? I, no, I we actually numb you for like a good 15 minutes. Okay. It can be a little bit irritating, but I wouldn't call it painful. Okay, okay so there's gonna be four steps in the hydro facial. Mm -hmm. The first one is an extra cleansing and exfoliating step. Okay. It kind of feels like a little suction vacuum on your face. It doesn't hurt at all. It feels kind of neat. So this is the peel. Yes. Yeah, so it's um, a glide salt. So basically it's like calling acid and salicylic combination. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. When you're ready to hop in, just push this blue button here. Mm -hmm. You're going to open the door, you're going to hop in, it's going to be all red light bulbs, it's going to be really bright, so make sure you have your winkies on. Okay. okay. And then hop in there, close the door behind you, it does not lock, so don't worry at all. Okay. And it shuts off in 10 minutes. And, and then I'm good. You're okay. Good to go. Thank you. You're so okay, welcome. Let me do this. Okay guys, so now I'm doing the red light, the red light something, I forgot. I'm going to, I'll let you guys know, but I'm going to go into this thing, as you guys heard her say. Um, and it's kind of like a tanning bed booth kind of thing, so let's do it, I'm excited. I'm gonna, I'll get you guys right after the red light. Okay guys, I just got the hydrofacial done. My skin is glowing. I don't know if you guys can even see or tell the difference, but it feels super smooth. It is a little bit red at the moment, but that's only because um, of all the, you know, the suction and all that. You guys saw what I'm talking about. Um, but I feel like I'm here. I don't know. Let's see. But it was really good. I'm going to keep an eye on my skin and then let you guys know what I'm thinking about it. But so far, it's really good. Okay, guys. We are finally driving back home. Um, it is about 2 o'clock, 2.30 almost. Um, sorry. Still bumpy, I know. Just want to quickly update you guys. So far, I'm absolutely loving it. I think it's really worth it. And of course, just like every other facial, you do need to do it at least once or twice. I mean, sorry, like at least three times to um, get the full effect. But you can see a difference in the first time for this. So I'm loving it. And it wasn't as painful as Alex Peel's. Um, at 4.30, I am going to go train with Jasmine. As I told you guys, I'm going to be meeting her sometime this week. Looks like I am meeting her today. I'm so excited. We're going to go train at Fortis Fitness. So that should be fun. I'll see if I can get in a few clips with her. And um, yeah, let's see you guys whenever I open the camera next. Guys, I put on some like powder over my face and stuff and my skin is looking so nice. It looks super clear and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys can tell once again on camera, but I'm looking at it in the mirror down here and it looks so good. I think it looks freaking awesome. I have a little... A little top knot. Um, I am about to go see Jasmine do some training.